cradle your privates, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to throw some chairs at Cradle, developed by, and let's see if I can get this right, Flying Cafe for Semi-Animals, which is now the new name for my Animals as Leaders uh, fucking bluegrass cover band. It's <laughs> developed on the U-Engine engine. You might remember them from such games as Oil Rush or such benchmarking tools as Heaven or Valley. And you can pick this up for 13 to 12 to $14, depending on where you live. And what is it? Cradle is something that makes Pedro cry tears of sweet, sweet sadness, where your sci-fi first-person view designed for players to explore the surrounding world. The story is built around the relation the sexual relations of a protagonist and a mechanical girl, <laughs> girl who by quick fate find themselves amidst a desert near Ulan Batar, my favorite place in Mongolia. So it faces the chair acquisition. The chair acquisition is uh, one chair means that's garbage. Two chairs means that it's meh. Three chairs means that's pretty good. Four chairs means that's awesome. Also got a category that do makes it the working shiny sounds, controls, and fun. So let's take a trip to Ulan Batar and see if this game makes with the working then more like cradle my balls am i right here we go how does it work on the humbuntu 1404 lts uh, ssd powered 980 powered octo core powered 4k display box of business sauce well you gotta check this i act i genuinely had to do a double take at what j man was oh he's gonna bring this up i can only confirm this game does not support 4k 3860 by 21 what is it? 30, 30, 30, 31, 3480 by 2160. 160. Doesn't have that. And yes, guys and girls, three of us on this review have 4K monitors. Actually, the same one. And, and, and at 1080p, it runs like complete butter sauce until you move. Then, then it just goes complete shit. And did I mention that it refuses to work with Steam Overlay? This is brilliant. I mean, I couldn't get the FURPS. Now, admittedly, I was not running the recommended Kumbuntu. 12 what? <laughs> really did 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 you build this on that uh wow because you went to 12 yeah yes. I was like, well, i'm not getting my furps and all this business i was like ah, oh, well okay well i'm gonna hit shift tab and you know see if anything shows up there and lord did that happen it went into like the spinny nightmare and it locked my screen up couldn't do anything. I actually had to resort to the good old-fashioned Control-Alt-F2, drop to fucking TTY, top, find process, kill nine, that, and then Control-Alt-F7 to get it back. First time in a long time that's ever happened. But, outside of everything else, it did mostly work. Just, you know, uh, if it's... Just don't hit Shift-Tab. No, I won't give it three chairs. Yes, when I was uh, when I was setting up this game to play through it for the first little bit, I figured, uh, well, let's crank everything up to max. And it has some weird ass resolutions that it supports, but it only goes up to uh, I think it's two point five K or something mm -hmm. like that. So there is no four K. So I decided to stick this on ten eighty because that's the other native resolution that this monitor supports. And you know what? The fact that it has no 4K option is probably for the best considering how shitty this thing actually runs. Um, yes, moving will strain your system. And that, that, that is one of the problems with building your game on a benchmarking engine. You want your game to run as efficiently as possible, not test the system requirements of the fucking system you're running it on. Um, yeah, no, Steam Overlay outright does not work. I experienced the exact same thing that Ben did. I had to... Uh, control alt f2 get to a terminal and kill shit in order to actually return to my desktop it will not let you get out it, it doesn't respect the uh alt f4 mm. it's pretty fucking miserable but to its credit it will work in any other regard sound works controls work well, works we'll get to that three chairs yeah controls quote unquote work but we'll get to that. I was playing it on an, an AMD FX 8370E overclocked at 4.2 gigahertz and a GTX 970. Uh, I kind of sort of finished the tutorial and walked up to the whole train stop thingy. Uh, the FPS counter went down from like 60 to 25 when I did a slow 360 degree pan around the scenery that's pretty bad brad that's pretty bad three chairs for me <laughs> ah! well, 
I have to say that beyond the 4K or lack of 4K and the lack of the Steam overlay, I had a problem that uh, nobody else seems to have experienced. Where um, I bought this game the day that it came out, and it actually worked okay. But at some point they updated, and their update, quote unquote, caused the game to um, basically freak out after about 5 to 15 minutes of play. Where it would go from, we'll say, 40, 45 frames per second down to 5. And just become completely unplayable. Um, for those first 5 to 15 minutes, it worked great. Great being a relative term. And uh, after that, no love whatsoever. I tried rebooting. I tried different versions of the NVIDIA binary driver. Nothing. And I've been waiting patiently, desperately, for another patch. And I don't think Long I'm ever going to Longingly even? <clears throat> longingly you, uh, for sure. What, what type it's, of it's calculator were you running it on? Oh, on the uh, 780 Ti, which... Should certainly have enough muscle with a to uh, what 1080 T Thuban? Uh, yeah, with uh, uh AMD X6 Phenom 2 Hexacore uh, 1100 T. All right, I, I, I forgot to mention my system requirements That's too. But Paige, uh, how many chairs? The chairs? Uh, I'm gonna have to give it two chairs because it works at first. And then it doesn't work, and uh, that ain't okay. All right, fascinating. Yeah, I, ru I run the AMD 1090T and the GTX 980. Mine's the weird hybrid between Ven and uh, empty systems. But anyways, that's two chairs for makes with the working. Up next is Shiny and Sounds. Ven, tell us about the pretties. You know, uh, they spent some proper time on the sounds, and, you know, genuinely good on them. It's borderline amazing. I mean, orally... I, I I just really dig it. I mean, it's a nice bit of kit. And it looks nice. It looks really, really nice. Talk about cohesive art design. This has it in spades. And it really brought me back to, even though it's in a 3D environment, of like the late 90 journeyman type, moving around frame, not frame by frame, but scene by scene with interactive movie objects that put in that business. Frame by but, frame. But, hey, look, oil rush water. It's been a while since I've seen that. Well, and that's because it's an oil rush, and they didn't really change the water effects at all. I was like, I know that water. Will it be my friend? And it really wouldn't. But I did feel like something was genuinely missing in the visual department. And I was reminded by that every time I looked at, at a tree, because it was forgetting to render branch organs. It's like, you need mm. to pick this fruit. And I was like, you mean that random piece of red stuff that there's like a big branch, but it's just kind of hanging in air? Is that is like a visual aesthetic? I don't know, let's go check some. Uh, it's suspended by leaves, man. Uh, it's <laughs> yes. Suspended by moon Anti -gravity magic. Anti-gravity All I can say, because I went and found some actual video of this. It's like, yeah, um, the, uh, it's supposed to be there. Uh, how do you have rendering issues on like the most vanilla 1404 LTS with a 980 running you know, the NVIDIA drivers? It did have that issue, so I'm going to knock it a chair for that. But again, these sounds, I mean, the soundtrack for the game, I don't even know if that's DLC. I would almost suggest if it is, pick it up. And visually, I mean, the outside world's kind of eh. But every scene, you know, when the amusement park or like in your house, I mean, it's detailed as fuck and old. No, I did enjoy that, and I respect that. Good work done. Three chairs. By the way, Anti-Gravity Fruit is the new name of my Electric 6 electro cover band. No one cares. So there you go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's yeah, it's unengined, so uh, it mixed with the pretty for sure. I mean, if, if you've sat through the Heaven or uh, what it, Valley or the, they had like a forest one too. Uh, the benchmarks, you, you this is a, none of this is anything new or mind blowing to you. So I don't, I don't know. Like, the, the the soundscape is fairly well designed, but it's just kind of there. I find that I just sort of start ignoring it when I'm focusing on some of the, let's call them puzzles, when they're, uh, <laughs> next section. Um, I mean, every, everything looks really nice until you get up and close. Like, especially the objects you can manipulate, they look pretty crappy when you hold them right up to your face. Um... I, I mean, it, lo it looks good, Like as I said. It might have blown my mind in 4K, but of course, we'll never know. So I'll give it three cheers. Yeah, the tutorial looked nice. If 
I don't know. Going through the whole thing, it felt kind of handholdy, ironically speaking, because, well, I'll tell you about it in the control section. But the the sounds, they were there, but they were nothing to write home about. Honestly, okay, full disclosure, I didn't play a whole lot of this game. I'll tell you why in the next section. But it didn't look anything out of the ordinary, so I'm going to give it two chairs. I'm going to have to say uh, basically the same thing as Ven. The game has a very nice art style. The uh, modeling is all very well done. The geometry is nice and smooth. There aren't, you know, tons of sharp fa uh, faces and edges everywhere. You know, you go outside and there's just big sweeping fields full of grass everywhere good sound design of you know the breeze blowing through the fields and fire crackling in the furnace and well done um, and they also had a very nice kind of muted color palette on everything that gave it uh, kind of an old worn look which I, I really enjoyed um, can't give it four chairs but three chairs seems pretty fair yeah, no, uh, the, the color palette, uh, MD, you bring up a very nice, po a very good point, is that it, it is actually very nice. Everything looks all authentic and whatnot. It's two chairs for the shiny and the sounds. Up next is Control Ven. Yours is going to be quick. This did not work with my racing wheel. How dare it? I... <laughs> well, neither, neither does Dirt 2, so. <laughs> oh, fair <laughs> point. Zing! LGC cares. Um, to our friends at Virtual Programming. I, I, I didn't expect much from this. I mean, it's your was layout, shift runs, space jumps, um, you know, your gerbil, that works. Knowing that this was made with Unigen, it wasn't going to support a fucking controller, let's just be honest. I mean, they haven't updated that thing since a will rush, and SDL2 was just a little dream in Ryan C. Gordon's eyes at that point. And... No issues. Uh, it, it did what I expect from a normal shooter. I don't have any special requirements, so I'll give it a four chairs. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the standard WASD controls are fine moving around. No issue. It loses two chairs because of its painful fucking inventory management system. I mean, for a game that requires you to combine various items in various ways, you could have spent a little bit of time to create something that is not clunky. Hell, Minecraft has its little screen that gives you, like, the little four squares to combine shit and your inventory. No, you get... You can... You can uh, have one thing in your pocket, one thing in your hand, and then a bunch more shit in your inventory. Switching between it is annoying, especially when you have to get to complex manipulations, like cutting fruit or adding salt to something or filling a glass with water. It just becomes really, really painful. You end up throwing your glass halfway around the room so you can turn on the sink, walk across the room to pick up the water, um, fill it, throw it across the room again so you can shut off the sink, and then actually use the water for fucking making soup. This is, like, super annoying. This is a core part of the game, and this is something you have to get right, and they failed to do that, so two chairs. Yeah, here's the thing. This is 2015, right? I mean, I'm pretty drunk right now, but this is 2015. Take a shot, Pedro's drunk. Yes. Uh, so, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but you'd think that for a first-person game, rebindable controls would be a necessary feature, not just something those liberal scumbags would think of. No, no, no. This is... The Master Race needs not these rebundable controls. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, this is so sweet, a Pedro. game me, that doesn't allow face. you. Mm. It mm. gives you zero rebindable controls. You cannot rebind your controls at all. I might have given it two chairs if it had the arrow keys mapped to, say, I don't know, mirror the was thing. But it doesn't, Brad. It really doesn't. I will not. I I refuse to play a first-person game with WASD when I have to have my hands cramped together to use the mouse on my left hand and the WASD with my right hand. It's not nice. And not only that, but 
I don't exactly have symmetrical hands, as you could see. So, yeah. How, how many, how many chairs refuse, does it get? I refuse to play your game. One chair. Ah! So, <laughs> this game suffers from what I would call uh, gravity gun syndrome where you pick up items and instead of, you know, holding them in your hand in front of you, they just kind of float there. Like you had zapped them with the gravity gun and we're getting ready to shoot them across the room. Um, and when you pick it up, there is no way to rotate it. So you, you want to put the pot on top of the furnace, but the pot has somehow bumped into things and gotten turned sideways. Yeah, just... Just throw it across the room and go pick it up again, and hopefully it'll have landed flat on its bottom, because otherwise you have no way to reorient stuff, and it's super annoying. Two chairs. Actually, MD, just just as a point, uh, you put the pot on the stove by picking up the pot and then left-clicking on the stove. Everything is contact-sensitive, which again goes back to the shitty inventory management system. You put the but anyways, that's... Down. That is two chairs for controls and our final category. But <clears throat> Ben, did you have fun with this game? I don't Ladies think so. and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you're still around, still awake, hey, look, I'm back. Wake back up. Um, this is going to be a brilliant thing. This is Mist 3D, genuinely. But ironically, Mist was composed with Hypercard, not really a game engine. And in 2015, this was composed with Unigen, also not really a game engine. <laughs> This is what I like to call a scrapbook game, where you spend a big chunk or good of time just collecting bits of story. Unfortunately, this often involves picking up and moving shite. Only Frictional knows how to do that properly, son. Just yep. leave it to the pros on this. You're not going to do it right. The random block game aspect of this bullshit can eat a ginormous bag of floppy dicks, and there's nothing wrong with eating a dick. But a bag of dicks, that's just being greedy. Let's just keep that in mind. I kind of lost interest after about an hour. And I, I sit down three times this week. Just like, no distractions. Cut off all the things. Put the headphones on. It's like, Vin, there's got to be something to this game. There's got to be a redeeming quality to it. And I uh, really can't say there is. Brad, um, I ended up losing interest. I mean, I think I got like 64, 65 minutes into it combined and then I was really forcing myself to play something that you know I didn't sit down and was like I hate this genre or whatever the genre is supposed to be. I didn't know it's like oh it's an exploratory game. I like these sometimes. But here's the big kicker. Even after this one on I was like, well maybe it's going to get better after the first hour. Because there are some games like that, gentlemen. And you, know, so you, you kinda gotta push through that bit. Then it gets good, but I read endless complaints about how the game just stops. Not really an ending. It just nopes. And everyone's like, where's the fucking popcorn, Brad? And uh, the general consensus is, well, they fucking uh, kind of ran out of money, put a fucking bow on it, and shipped it. So I am very um, disincentivized to continue playing. It's not horrible. It didn't give me um, any type of venereal disease, so I can't give it one chair. I'll give it two, maybe if you pick it up on like some 75% off sale. It, it's a good learning experience of how poorly Unigen runs on modern day systems. Uh, yeah, so Mist, Mist is very much an apt comparison for this. But when I was playing Mist as a child, this was on my therapist's old computer in his waiting room while I was waiting for him to get done with his previous patient so he could dig through my mental problems and not really <laughs> Genesis. But um, I didn't know you went to Subway. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I, did go to, I did go to Subway. That pizza footlong slash Paxil mixture really, Hi, really Jared. fucked me up. But anyways, um, Chicken yeah, it, in, instead of distracting me from waiting for a doctor, this just made me bored and realize I have better shit to do with my life. It is very much one of these click on click all the things with all the other things games and then click on more things. But again, the, the fucked up inventory management completely makes that a, a miserable experience. Making soup. My God, that took me three attempts. And I <laughs> by, by the time I got to Jordan, try and find, Jordan, like, the Jordan, you need to stick to talking about the game. The game? <laughs> yes, your 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 first goal in the game is to make soup. Good luck with that. 
Uh, you you can you can walk around and explore and. Like, the the scenery is gorgeous. Like, the sort of abandoned techno apocalypse thing actually looks pretty cool, and it tickles that part of my brain. But it's not enough. The performance is just crap. It makes the entire experience painful. It puts the lotion in the basket, one chair. Yeah, so I made soup, and contrary to what Ben said, I, I really didn't... I didn't see a hook to this game. Uh, I didn't play past, you know, walking all the way up to the train stop thing. I refuse to play elitist slash fascist games that assume that everyone is right-handed or has two symmetrical mm-hmm. and Cheers. functional hands. Cheers. That's a really bad move in 2015. Everyone's a special snowflake on the internet, in case you haven't realized. And you want to be so, one, too. Yeah. <laughs> What I know what the best part is, they're ignoring everyone who points out the fact that you can't rebuy the controls in the game. You go to the Steam forums and you look up controls. You see a bunch of threads and zero reply from the developers. I actually sent them an email. Hell, they sent us keys for this game. I sent them an email asking for keys and they replied and said, hey, here's three keys. Have at. Send them an email about the controls, zero answer. They completely ignored it. So if you're going to ignore people complaining about the fact that you can't rebind controls, which you think in 2015 that was a given thing that you have to have in a game, and you're not going to do it, well then, one fucking chair. (laughs) Well, like I said, I bought this game the day it was released on, on Linux. Um, I watched the video. There was a uh, female robotic torso thrashing around on on a tabletop, and I was sold. <sighs> then I got into this game, and performance problems aside, I could not figure out how to make soup. Now, I consider myself only moderately stupid, but I think there might need a little bit of like a help system or something here. Because no, man, this is hardcore sci-fi, hoops, man. You just don't understand our pest- vision, man. <laughs> I, Rips, I don't understand man. our vision. I don't understand it at all. One chair. Yes. Oh, man, I don't this, think this, one of those. Yeah, no. Ser- seriously, this game could use like some more direction beyond find the roots. They're outside this massive world you can explore all right so that's one share for fun and that tallies up to one share for craddle so do you guys have any final thoughts about craddle or should we just shift on over to the i don't i, th- I, th- I think we're done with it uh, all right, like not, i really wanted to like this game yeah. i really really did and it let me down hard i mean really i hard. tried to I like missed. it like three times in a row and it's, uh... i actually I, I, like I, mist i like mist a lot this just shits all over Mist's corpse. Stay the fuck away from it. Yeah, Mist also requires a mouse and no waz. Um, 